the great orator bishop fulton sheen in one of his many sermons makes a positive comment on the eagerness of apostle thomas wanting to put his finger into the mark of the nails in the hands and feet of the risen christ and the bishop says thomas wanted to see the scars of the superstar thomas wanted to see the scars of his superstar yes our superstar jesus has his scars he is a suffering servant the gospel text of today on the one hand invites us to a personalization of our perception and experience of jesus and jesus is asking us today who do you say i am on the other hand the liturgy of the word also invites us to acknowledge the role of the suffering in the history of salvation jesus says the son of man was destined to suffer grievously the readings also invite us to reflect on the role of suffering in our own personal story in following jesus there's a link between the personalization of our experience of jesus and sharing in his suffering when we accept jesus as a son of god we also are motivated to carry our own cross our god is a suffering god ours is a suffering god at the core of our christian faith is the truth that a particular time in history god in jesus suffered died and rose again it is not fair to understand the suffering of jesus in terms of what is sometimes called you know a vicarious expiation what does that mean that the father demanded the death of the son in the place of the fallen humanity no it's not like that i would like to think that at the suffering of jesus there is a flowing of his own love expressed in his total sharing in our humanity and his death is a natural consequence of our rejection of god as saint paul writes in his letter to the philippians he emptied himself taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of humans and being found in human form he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death on a cross our first reading of today from prophet isaiah was an extract from what is called the hymn of the suffering servant of yahweh In this passage the prophet talks about the servant of Yahweh who is ill treated by the people and condemned to die and the servant offers no resistance yet the servant expresses trust in the justice and protection of God Within Isaiah this text could be speaking about a prophet who stands by what he preaches and as a con- consequence he has to suffer often this passage is taken to allude the sufferings of jesus and very aptly so jesus takes up his cross willingly for he knows this is the final act of love he has to stand by his message of love what is the human response to this love what is our response to the suffering love of god we got to reflect today like the master take up your cross and follow me 
in the gospel story of today peter emerges as one who has mixed motivations enabled by the spirit he makes a theological statement about the nature of jesus he says you are the christ however he also jumps to purely a human way of looking at jesus when jesus started talking about his own sufferings quite openly peter took him aside and began to rebuke him began to rebuke jesus that's what we heard in the gospel text today what did peter want why did peter hesitate to accept jesus with his complete story that being the christ he had to suffer i would like to think that peter really understood the implication of jesus predictions of his suffering that if the master was to suffer even the disciple needs to be prepared to suffer and perhaps peter was not quite ready for this he wouldn't be ready for it until the death and resurrection of jesus where who where he will be fully prepared to say yes i love you lord i love you you know that i love you yes our response to the immense love of god made visible in the suffering of jesus could be to accept our own human condition that comes with some degree of pain and suffering it may not necessarily imply dying for jesus but often suffering consists in the little troubles that we have to endure when we aspire for higher purpose in life speaking in very simple terms for instance it is easier to watch tv than to read a book is it not true for many of us it is easier to watch tv than to read a book at another level it is easier to join a friend in the in his or her birthday celebration than to reach out to a stranger in need watching tv and joining in celebration could provide us with some sense of pleasure some sense of happiness and yet pleasure happiness could be accompanied by a sense of euph- euphoria however often at the end of this state or end of this experience of euphoria we experience a level of what is called the opposite of it dysphoria or dysphoria whatever or depression yes on the other hand reaching out to a stranger in need initially demands some effort some risk and suffering but eventually that act of kindness brings a sense of gratification incidentally last thursday i went for the mass at the grade school and during the homily i asked a question when you get some chocolate from your friend you feel happy and you when you give this chocolate to other people what you have you feel happy which one makes you happier and i was overwhelmed with the expression of the children gathered there when i give the chocolate to others i become happier that's what the vast majority of them say yes when we are little children we want to share what we have with other people perhaps as we are growing old we forget this we humans tend to choose the easier path especially as we grow old repeatedly making such choice of pleasurable experiences only makes us losers let us become aware of this in the gospel text of today therefore jesus invites us to challenge ourselves to make that initial effort to choose acts of higher purpose which may entail some suffering so that we will enjoy immense gratification in due course the resurrection and the foretaste of heaven that is the gratification we will have for anyone who wants to save his life will lose it 
but anyone who loses his or her life for my sake will save it. Amen.